Good morning, folks. This is Jeff. Uh, I, I thought I'd share something with you, kind of interesting about my solar system. Uh, this is Sunday at 8.43 in the morning. I'm fixing to have to go to a client location, but I thought I'd come check my solar system, see how it was doing. Yesterday was a, a very stormy day. I say stormy, lots of rain, cloud cover the entire day. And the day before, though not rain all day, was mostly cloud cover. So my batteries did not charge up very far, very deep over that two day period. And when I got home last night from helping my son move, it was about probably, I don't know, close to 10 o'clock my system had swapped over to the grid. It was a seamless transfer, which is what's supposed to be happening. So I come out this morning, I just thought I'd check it and I got. I have to come out here to check it because I can't get my solar assistant to work. Uh, it had worked for a brief period of time, but it no longer works. And I hadn't had a lot of time to spend with it. But uh, I come out here, I was kind of pleasantly surprised. You can see I've got fog. I mean, it's 100% cloud cover. There are my panels. And I decided just to come out here and see if they were generating any power at all to uh, maybe put a trickle charge on the batteries. Not enough to do very much good, but I was pleasantly surprised to see I'm actually switched off the grid and me and powered from my PV. Right, so my entire house and property is being powered from the array despite this over cloudy. Now this is the only display that is working properly. I've been talking to Signature Solar about my other displays and they sent me a firmware flash to update flash update these other inverters. This one has a newer firmware on it. But I'm gonna have to do that next week. But uh I'm actually charging at about 15 amps into the battery, which these other two, one and three, are probably doing about the same. Yeah, 15 amps in this one i can't tell but the uh source circuits of the rays are all right next to each other so i suspect that's the case 15 amps you know it even at all day that will not fully charge this battery bank but the fact that i'm off grid and i don't know what time it transitioned over uh, Really kind of amazing to me with the clouds like they are. But anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, this is the way the system is supposed to work. Everything being seamless, transfer of power from the PV arrays, charging the batteries, then power my house from the batteries. And when the batteries run down, power swapping over to the grid. Uh, it's all been seamless and I haven't noticed it. Alright, enjoy your day.